Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install one of the DeepSeek R1 models with Olama locally on your machine. So first we'll get the installation going and then I'm going to explain what DeepSeek R1 is. First head over to olama.com and type in DeepSeek and DeepSeek R1 will be on the top of the list. And let's select one of the models from here. Since my laptop doesn't have all that much of GPU memory, let's select one of the models which is not too big. So let's select the 8 billion parameter model, which is in size 4.9 gigabytes. Let's just copy paste this command here and head over to command prompt. I'm assuming here you have already Olama installed. If you don't, check the link in the description for my video on how to install Olama. It's very easy. Let's just copy paste the command here and run the command and it will be downloading that 4.9 gigabyte file with the model weights in it. While we wait for the download to complete, I'll explain a bit about what this 8 billion parameter model actually is. So if you scroll down a bit, we can see some explanations here. So the 8 billion parameter model is actually a llama model and what makes it a deep seek model as well. Let's check out the GitHub page for the deep seek model. So I'll leave a link or I'll leave all of the links down below in the description so you can also find them easily. But here we can see an introduction and here we can see the model downloads with hugging face links so actually if you look at the 8 billion parameter model which was provided that's a distilled model so it's the base model is actually the meta llama 3.1 8 billion parameter model and here they do also explain a bit about what the distilled model means so the deep seek r1 distilled models are fine-tuned based on open source models using samples generated by DeepSeek R1. Slightly change their configs and tokenizers. Please use our settings to run these models. So it's the base model is from Meta, the Llama 3.1 model, but they have used they have used reasoning patterns from the larger DeepSeek R1 model. So if we click on the link here to Hugging Face, you will actually find the, the model page for this distilled model and we can read further about the distillation. distillation. So we demonstrate that the reasoning patterns of larger models can be distilled in the smaller models resulting in better performance compared to the reasoning patterns discovered through RL, RL on small models. The open source DeepSeek R1 as well as its API will benefit the research committee to distill better smaller models in the future. Using the reasoning data generated by DeepSeek R1, we fine-tuned several dense models that are widely used in the research community. So they are meaning, for example, the Llama uh, 8 billion parameter model. The evaluation results demonstrate that the distilled smaller dense models perform exceptionally well on benchmarks the open source distilled 1.5 billion, 7 billion, 8 billion, and so on. Checkpoints based on Quinn 2.5 and Llama 3 series to, to community. So uh, this is a way that you can benefit from the R1 models reasoning patterns by running uh, these models which DeepSeek has distilled and, and fine-tuned from Meta and from Quen models. So what makes all of this so interesting is that the DeepSeek R1 models are performing on par with OpenAI's O1. OpenAI's O1 is um, quite expensive to run and the DeepSeek R1 is a lot cheaper to run and you, you can try it out the DeepSeek website as well but, but since this is about installing it on Olama, let's try the distilled model. Okay, going back to the command prompt window, we can see that the download is complete and it also started the 
um, deep sea carbon. And um, since we are running this in Olama, we can also see that it is using the GPU memory. This machine has an RTX laptop GPU. So let's do a prompt and let's ask it uh, what are 10 largest cities in Australia. <clears throat> the resources this much are limited. <clears throat> but we, we can see that it is now using up the GPU dedicated memory and loading the other memory from the CPU it's using from the from the machine it's and it's loading the CPU and the GPU. So here we can see the response. So here we can see that it's kind of reasoning through and discussing with itself about the largest cities and giving an initial list with Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide, Perth. Then it's reasoning a bit more and it finally based on just Well, this kind of demonstrates how this reasoning behavior works, but this is not a scientific test of, of the model, but it does demonstrate how to install it and run it in Olama. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.